Cutting up thugs with their faces so ugly. Stomping on demons who want all that snuggly. Shooting at nightmares that fly with their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Now, does your wang hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? Can you tie it in a knot and can you tie it in a bow? Can you throw it over your shoulder? Well, if you can, then you're a lucky feckin' boy. Lucky boy. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? How you all doing? So, Shadow Warrior 2, a game so chock full of wang that you literally won't know where to look. Because in Shadow Warrior 2, you once again must assume the role of Lo Wang, the badass ninja with a severe feckin' potty mouth. Shocking language, really, it is. Now, I was very lucky to get my hands on an early copy of Shadow Warrior 2, and I've been having an absolute blast. I really can't say that enough. There's blood, guts, gore, comedy, snappy one-liners. The gunplay feels solid. The swordplay is even better because you can target limbs and chop them off piece by piece. And of course, the keyword with any game you want to spend money on is fun. Now, I've played a few hours of it, and each mission will basically have you attempting to chop your way through hordes of demons and soldiers, and if you're lucky, you might even get to see the return of the demonic bunny lord, which attacked me on last night's stream and rose up out of the ground, scared the absolute crap out of me because there was death metal announcing its arrival, but I will leave a link to that small, very brief encounter in the video's description. But yeah, fun, that's kind of the key, like I said, with a game that you want to spend your hard-earned cash on, and Shadow Warrior 2, for me, just for me personally, ticks all of those boxes. It also has a four-player co-op mode that I fully intend to get the most out of because a good few guys on my Discord have grabbed the game, so it should be a lot of fun to jump into that with those. Now, the single-player missions that aren't main storyline missions are also randomly generated, so you do have a replay of value with the game. Everything from map layout to mission content, right down to the mission's weather, can be changed depending on what kind of, I guess, a procedurally generated mission you get. So in the end, none of these kind of side missions will be the same. The game's combat system is really, really good. Now, I still haven't got the hang of blocking certain sword attacks, and it's kind of hard to block bullets, but you can kind of dodge in and out to get close to your enemies. And because you're capable of closing the gap with an enemy so quickly, it allows you to basically cut them down to pieces, which is a lot of fun. Graphically, the game looks great, and its settings allow you to run it with HDR, 4K resolution, ultra widescreen. There's no lock to your frames, of course, all depending on what kind of specs you have for your own PC will determine how well your game will look. Now, I'm gonna leave you guys with a few minutes of footage from my time spent playing the game last night. Let me know what you think of Shadow Warrior 2, whether you intend to get it or not. Might be one to stick on your wish list for Santi. Who knows, maybe Santi will get it for you, if you still believe in him. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that nonsense. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Nice work. You deserve a hand for that. Oh, look. Here's one someone's not using anymore. There's nothing like a fresh clip.
refreshing. clear. Friends, you ready to do some fuck faces? Yeah. <laughs> 